Welcome to SNN. Today is February 10th, 2015. It's a sky day, which means star periods 1, 3, and 5. What product is available in a slew of sizes, shapes, and colors, and has been used for thousands of years? Umbrellas! Today is Umbrella Day. Umbrellas, or parasols, not only help protect us from some of the rain, but also protect us from the sun. Some people use this handy accessory as a walking cane, too. Some prefer to use a small, frilly version in beverages. Umbrellas have played a role when it comes to movies, too. Umbrellas play a significant supporting role in the movies. We're looking for it with a movie with an umbrella. Call 78293 and give us a movie which comes to mind. Both of the movies we are thinking of are musicals. Speaking of musicals, auditions will take place today in the choir room for our Skyridge musical, Star Mites. Callbacks are February 11th. Sign-up sheets for everything are in the main office. Today is the big, big day. Be, be on time. Be prepared. You'll be great. Boys basketball is home against Pacific today. Girls are away at Pacific. Also, 8th grade girls, Miss Hackworth is having a CHS informational meeting in her room 222 today during lunch. Cross Country starts up March 3rd. Remember to get your permission slip for Cross Country. We mentioned that track starts right after Cross Country. And that date is March 30th. Let's count in Japanese. One is Ichi. Two is Ni. Three is San. Four is She. Five, go! Five is go. See yourself going to Japan. Skyridge Liberty Middle School, Skyridge and Liberty Middle School students will be traveling to Japan this summer to visit our sister cities of Hosoi and Taki. Ten tentative dates will be end of June and beginning of July. The trip will be approximately 10 days. Students would stay with host families while visiting Japan. Students will be responsible for air fare costs, bullet train travel, and incidental expenses. Like souvenirs and mementos. If you are interested in this educational travel experience, there are sign-up sheets in the Skyridge main office. If you have questions, please contact Mrs. Burke. She's the principal at Skyridge Middle School. I mean, Liberty Middle School. But start with signing up in the main office. Oh, did you hear the news about Friday? No, what? It's Western Day at the Old Ridge. Wear yourself some Western wear. If you have a cowboy hat, wear it. If you have boots, we'll round them up and ride them. If you have some jeans, and a vest, and a banana or two, well, wear them. Friday, where, where the, the West, West was worn. worn. Ellie, what is our foodie news today? It's National Cream Cheese Brownie Day. But if you rather have your cream cheese with a bagel, and not your brownie, we won't tell. It is said that the brownie was created at the Palmer House Hotel during 1893 Columbian Exposition. The world's largest fair of its time. When the owner, Bertha Palmer, asked the chef to make a ladies' dessert. The word brownie became so popular that soon after the exposition, even Kodak named one of its first handheld cameras after them, the little brownie. Brownies were one of the very first packaged food mixes ever sold first appearing in the SEALS Roebuck catalog in 1897. How about those movies? The first ones which came to mind were Singing in the Rain, with a little help from a black, big black umbrella, and a lot of rain. Gene Kelly dances and sings his way into the movie goers' hearts in this classical movie musical from 1952. And there's also Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins was first created by author Pamela Travers in the 1930s before being famously portrayed by Julie Andrews in the 1964 movie. We think there's a Rihanna song called Umbrella. But that's a song, not a movie. Unless you consider the music video. Anyway, good job to Miss Becker's class. A treat and fake cash after our broadcast. We came across this unique umbrella the tandem. The tandem umbrella design brings out a classic case of why didn't we think of this sooner. If you've tried to fit two people under an umbrella before, you know that somebody is going to get wet. Would you buy one? Not if I could buy the lightsaber umbrella. Now that's cool. Look at these sword handle umbrellas. Umbrella design is pretty amazing. Hey, why does Snoop Dogg need an umbrella? I don't know. For di drizzle. <laughs> In the rain, Chuck Norris does not need an umbrella. The raindrops avoid him. 
Remember that tomorrow is the first of two late starts. Yes, Wednesday and Thursday are late starts. That is the news for Skyridge Middle School. Where everybody belongs. Today's thought, better three hours too soon. Than a minute too late. Remember to follow the, the code, the Sky Code. Be safe. Be respectful. And be kind. Be responsible. <laughs> this has been Ellie. And Emmy. Make a tasteful Tuesday, Skyridge. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin.